tonight with one week to go, the campaign in the home stretch, and both candidates hit the trail and each other. Joe Biden attempts to turn Georgia blue, a state Democrats haven't won since Bill Clinton. I'm ready to act. I know what to do. President Trump making three stops in places he won in 2016, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Nebraska, amid reports his campaign is low on cash. And we're going to win four more years in the White House. And the special guests on the trail, First Lady Melania and former President Barack Obama. What we do this week will matter for decades to come. Spreading faster than ever. As the U.S. averages 70,000 new coronavirus cases a day, the new video tonight from inside a hospital COVID ICU unit. Plus, the alarming rise in children infected. Only on CBS News, two grand jurors from the Breonna Taylor case tell Gail King almost the entire room wanted to consider more serious charges for the officers who shot the 26-year-old. Severe weather tonight, Louisiana braces for Hurricane Zeta. As wildfires rage out west, the fire crew's desperate battle to contain the blazes. And an incredible act of kindness in Colorado. This is the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. Reporting tonight from CBS News Election Headquarters in Times Square. Good evening and thank you for joining us with just one week to the finish line tonight. The presidential campaigns are making a mad dash across the country. The stories of this campaign is the record setting number of ballots cast by early voters with some states already nearing their 2016 totals for the entire election. Chief Washington correspondent Major Garrett joins us now. Major, I know you have been tracking these numbers, so tell us what are you seeing? So the numbers are historic, Nora, and they really speak to something that could be described as an American success story. We are figuring out how to have an election in a pandemic and doing so earlier than we've ever done before. Let me show you a couple of big numbers. 2020 early vote turnout right now already above 69 million. The total early vote turnout in 2016. 45, not 50. Young people are being diagnosed with colon cancer at higher rates. A 45-year-old now has the same risk as a 50-year-old had in years past. All right, still ahead, a man was relieved to learn a wildfire. Tomorrow, the 12-year-old who's hitting a home run for his community turning storm debris into baseball bats. And if you can't watch us live, set your DVR so that you can watch us later. I'm Nora O'Donnell in CBS News election headquarters in New York. Good night.